Hi guys, today is January 8th and um, I was originally going to do a Bible study but I think I need to um, get this out versus, you know, other things. I've had a horrible, horrible past week and a half um, and it's, I, I just need to get it off my chest, okay? First off, um, I went and visited my uncle, and he's an older gentleman, and he's about 80. He has COPD, he's on oxygen, and he's not doing too good. Well, he would, I visited him, left, whatever. Well, then, um, he was rushed by ambulance because he stopped breathing. Oh, uh, when he stops moving, they can get his oxygen level to about 92 and but when he starts moving around and stuff it drops to 75 well he wanted to leave the hospital and they told him there's nothing more that they can do for him so they're sending him home to die um he is one that i've been taking care of along with my mom and my dad um and it's just getting to the point he is no longer allowed to go anywhere not go outside or anything um, and on top of that, he's got pneumonia and, um, he's been severely dehydrated. Um, he told me he's ready to go be with the Lord. He's a very, very strong man in Christ. And then, um, I found out my son was bullied again. And, um, so we're dealing with the school once again that we dealt with last year. Luckily, um, if you would pray as the kid choked my son out to the point where he could not breathe so um and punched him my son is eight years old and he's been dealing with this since kindergarten and me you know as a mom I really don't know what else I can do except for um make the reports and everything now um I was taken off um my medicine due to the fact of my doctor not refilling it so I withdrew all week and today is my first day that I can honestly say I feel good enough to do some stuff. Um, and then I, uh, this morning was on my way because my kids no longer ride the bus due to this, um, until the prosecuting attorney gets a hold of me and we figure out what's going on because as a Christian, I do not want to have to sue anybody, but, um, things just can't continue the way that they are. Homeschool was my next option. Um, but I slid off the road and hit some ice and almost flipped my car. So it's just been one thing after another. But, uh, then, you know, my daughter just got this for Christmas. Okay. Why is it a big deal? See what my dog did? Okay. Now, as mangled as this is, it may seem like it's impossible to fix, right? Nope, nothing is impossible to fix because we have God, we have Christ, okay? Pull into my drive after my husband gets me out and the song by Lauren Daigle was on um, the K-Love Christian channel. It was, Oh God, or Oh Lord, and that song I've heard a few times and I was just bawling and I gave it to God and I talked to God and I was praying and praying and praying. And I'm like, God, oh God, you know, what do I do? I'm, I can't, I can't take anymore. There's only so much that I can take before I break. And I knew I was heading into this deep depression state of mind. Well, as I'm listening to that and, and going through, you know, what I have and what I don't have who I have in my life, what God has given me, what God has blessed me with. You know, the thing is, the enemy um, is getting ready to be on borrowed time. He's about to rise, the Antichrist, and he is attacking those who God is using very strongly in the body. So, I am one that he has decided to target. And, but I'm here to say that there is absolutely nothing that anybody is going through that God cannot fix. Because this world is temporary, just like our problems. Okay? Jesus was here. He went through many trials. And he also, okay, was here, okay, for a little while. Because this place called earth is not our home. 
We have a place that's waiting for us. We have someone there who loves us despite all of our failure. When we fall, that is where we find strength because there's nowhere else to go but up. You're not going to sit on the floor the rest of your life crawling around, are you? No, you're going to get back up and try again. And so therefore, I'm coming back with a vengeance. And his name is Jesus Christ. He's my shield. He is my rock. He is my armor. And though it may seem like these trials are going to last forever, they aren't. Because I'm here to tell you that what the Lord has showed me through many scriptures is going to bless you. I've had five dreams in a row this week. And it has been, I'm, I'm not even going to go into detail about them um, because it's not a big deal. But I can say this one thing, though, I did dream, my first dream I dreamt was about oil, having enough oil. So make sure you have enough oil, okay? My other dream I had, okay, was about... Um, a wedding. It was the exact same place and time and people in my second dream because this is two dreams on the exact same day. Okay. And um, it was also about a wedding. Okay. And then I dreamt about John's heart. Okay. And it was just a phenomenally amazing, amazing dream. And those who are bashing one another just know that his heart is in the right place. He is an amazing man of God and he loves the Lord. And I, I am subscribed to many channels that I do not get. Um, I don't tell them enough how much of a blessing they are. Like God's handmaiden. Um, um, uh, Jesus lives um, 444, um, I am redeemed, um, just so, so many people, and I try my best to get back to everybody, okay, but despite all that, um, then I dreamt, um, about a flood, okay, that all the snow was melting, and the floods came, okay, and it was like, as the days of Noah, well, then my next dream, I dreamt, was about the mark of the beast about how it was forced and I had a choice but I didn't feel anything when it came my time and um the thing is just because we have dreams doesn't mean it's in particular talking about you it is just like Daniel you know in Pharaoh's dreams I mean of course they were for him but um you know Daniel had a dream dreams or and visions and revelations from the Lord that were for latter times stuff when he wouldn't be here for and that's what I believe through the Holy Spirit what he's telling me is because we are so close to going home now having all that said I am going to say this the day that no one knows the day or hour not even the father not even the son the angels in heaven I am here to tell you Jesus Christ himself does indeed know when he is coming back, and I can prove it. John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It is God. All right. And then it says, 1 John 1, 1, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, Revelation 19, 13. He was clothed with a robe dipped in blood and his name is called the word of God. Okay, and it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God, right? Now, John 1, 2 says, he was in the beginning with God. Who is that? Well, let's go there. Here, it says. Okay, give me just a second. Um, uh, 
Oh, where'd it go? Sorry. Um. Okay. Right. Alright. Um. Anyways. So. Um. Jesus Christ himself. Okay. Was seated at the right hand of God. Before time even began. Okay. And. So if he was seated at the right hand of God, you know, dressed in a white robe and had blood from being trotted down in the wine press, okay, from the beginning, okay, and if the beginning is from the end and the end is from the beginning, who is the word of life? The word of life is Jesus Christ, okay? Now, um, it says, because um, it says, that, um, all right, all right, see right here, all right, Isaiah 63, 23, why is your apparel red and your garments like one who treads in wine press? I have trodden the wine press alone and from the people's no one was with me, for I have trotted them in my anger and trampled them in my fury. Okay? Their blood is sprinkled upon my garments, and I have stained all my robes. Okay. Um, all right. Give me just a second. Hold on. Um, okay. First uh, John two nineteen. They went out from us. But they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened to my, my scripture. But my point is that Jesus knows. Okay. Um. Because he is God. God and Jesus are, they are three in one, the Trinity. You've got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They all three have different, um, different, uh, uh, what is it? They do stuff different, okay? They're each called to do something differently, but they all are the same being, okay? They're all from, um, the same thing like me i am a wife okay i'm a female but i'm a mother i'm a caregiver i'm a doctor i'm an artist i do online ministry i'm a child of god but all of that originates but it's part of me even though they each have their own thing i do each part i play a part in each thing separately you see what i mean it's kind of hard to explain. So, now, I'm really going to get into this Bible study now. So, my next video is going to really, um, uh, really bless you. Because I, I don't want to take up all your guys' time. Just be encouraged and, and know that, uh, when our world is falling apart, God is there. Okay? He hears us, even when we, we don't think that he does. Teachers always silent during the test, um... And if it wasn't for Satan rising as quickly as he's getting ready to, then these trials wouldn't become as much of a hardship. You know, many years ago, we didn't have to uh, go through all this because, um, you know, we, we had a little more time. Now we're on more than just borrowed time. We're on like time that's out. So um, just bear with me and I'll be right back.